So how can a fashion brand or retailer actually put their customer at the heart of their business? This is where online data into a brand's customers or potential customers becomes critical, including how they search, what and where they browse, and what and where they end up buying. And as Richard alluded to, having the processes and agility to respond in a timely manner. A prime example of this is the cycling shorts phenomenon in summer 2018 a not-so-flattering sports item made famous about 30 or 40 years ago. Last year saw these shorts re-emerge, with a handful of forward-thinking brands turning this explosive trend into a profit-making machine. Searches for these cycling shorts were up 23% year-on-year, peaking in July 2018, when celebrity influencers like Kim K and Rita Ora, when they started donning these items, where these searches then led to incredibly shifted as well. In summer 2017, the top recipients for these searches were Wiggle, Evan Cycle and Amazon. Fast forward one year, in summer 2018, these turned into Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo and H&M, who rounded out the top five. These brands were the first at identifying a new growing trend, search being a great indicator of this, and responded with new merchandise at speed. This example is very specific to fast fashion audiences, but equally other apparel brands from budget to luxury require the data to be first to the trend. This is also another example demonstrating how search data drives product ideation and ranging, and equally important how this data made its way right across the organization from product design, merchandising, supply chain, and marketing. Boohoo Group credited their 50% jump in profits to the cycling shorts. So what will be the explosive trend this year? And do businesses have the data accessible and aligned across the organization to take action?